the most tremendous new musical experience you can have. What's up, y'all? It's Logan, and I'm here to give y'all this quick reviews video for two albums that I listened to this week that I felt like deserved to be talked about, but did not feel like they deserved their own video. It's looking like this week I'm going to get a video out every single day because I do have something planned for tomorrow. Um, it's an artist that y'all have heard me review before, but I'm not going to spoil anything. We'll get to that when we get to that. Um, right now, today, I just want to talk about these two albums again. First off... YG's newest album, My Life 400. Um, this is YG's follow-up to his album that came out last year, For Real, For Real. I thought that one was pretty solid, you know, no complaints. It, I have a, I, I have a love-hate relationship with YG. I started listening to him in 2016 with Still Brazy. And Still Brazy, to this day, is still his best album by far. Then I went back and listened to My Crazy Life, and I thought that was really good too. But then he follows that up with Red Friday, which was like a short little mixtape EP in 2016 that I did not like. Um, Stay Dangerous was fun, but pretty, I don't know, kind of boring, kind of same old, same old, you know. And then For Real, For Real kind of runs into those same problems, but it's a little bit better, has a little bit more points behind it. Of course, he's always talking about um, the police, racism, stuff like that. He's also talking about... Um, bloods you know gang stuff i mean a lot of basic trap stuff but again with a little bit more um social justice messaging in there i guess and whenever he's on his social justice bag it's really good and whenever he's on his unique stuff it's pretty fun but when i i don't know sometimes it just gets to where he's in that same one note that every other trap artist from his generation hit and he falls into that a couple of times on here honestly mm. I d mm. First listen, I hated this album. I was feeling straight up 4 out of 10, you know, so forgettable. I listened to it again, you know, I wasn't planning on it. I was planning on just doing a quick review because a lot of the times it only takes one listen for those, but I listened to it again and I enjoy it a lot more. Now, there are songs like Jealous, the intro track where it's very corny. I mean, he literally has a line of there was he says something like, I got ho, ho, ho's Santa Claus, you know. He's got some throwaway bars like that, but he's also got some fun songs like Blood Walk with Lil Wayne. Of course, that's a more um, gang-oriented song. Out on Bail, that's that's a banger right there. I mean, and of course, it's got a little bit of social justice messaging in there. It's got a little bit of talk about, you know, jail and um, how the world is today, stuff like that. Um, let's see, we got songs like Hate On Me with a solid little TJ feature. And then FTP, you know, F the Police. Um... I thought that was a really good song. Of course, very much in the same vein as FDT, F Donald Trump, of course, from um, Still Brazy. But I thought that was a really good track and probably the best one on this album. And then he follows that up with the finale, Laugh Now, Cry Later, which, again, was pretty solid. You know, a little bit more heartfelt, um, but good. Overall good. Um, but then you hit you hit little points in this album where you go like war scars surgery thug cry which thug cry i did not think was a bad song but i mean that that, that string it just i honestly forgot yg was even on those tracks um so there's just moments where it's good there's moments where it's bad and then there's a lot of in between overall i'm feeling a, i'm feeling a decent five out of ten maybe you could stretch it to six out of ten but again i there's there's a couple songs i'm definitely coming back to but then there's a lot that i wish i had never heard so that's just how I'm feeling on that one. And I'm going to finish this up with uh, talking about Smoke Dizza's album, Homegrown. Um, yeah, you know Smoke. He comes with some good stuff. Um, you know he has good production. He has that type of production that you feel like you heard on 90s rap, but again, it's more clear. You feel like you – he reminds me a lot of Jadakiss, if I'm totally honest. Like when I compare those two, Jadakiss is like Christian Bale's Batman to where Smoke Dizza is like um, – Michael Keaton's Batman, you know, one of them had throat cancer. Not at any way is that a shot at Jadakiss because I love him. I love his voice. I think it works perfectly. I just think they have very similar sounds. It's just one of them sounds really gruff and like they, you know, smoked a pack a day for years. And the other one just sounds normal, I guess, you know. Again, not a knock on um, Jadakiss. I love that sound, but it's very interesting to hear the comparison there. And ironically, Jada does um, 
feature on a track here. Uh, let's see, which one was it? Hibachi, Hibachi, the, th the third track on here. Really good track. I love the dynamic that those two have. I also love the feature from Jim Jones on the intro track, Tradition. Jack Harlow gives a good feature on Boatloads. Um, you get a big crit and Wiz Khalifa and Currency feature on the song Santos Party House. That was probably the best track on here. I mean, you get a lot of good features. You get Dom Kennedy's um, on this track. I mean, on, on this album, you get a lot of solid features on here, but then you also get a lot of um, solo work by um, Smoke on a couple of these tracks where um, he's just going in. He's got some good bars. You know, he's got a, got a decent bit of lyricism. Again, good beat selection, um, good production all throughout this project. He's got a really smooth voice, a really smooth flow, so it really works. I enjoyed this album a lot. Um, again, it's just, it doesn't stand out in the grand scheme of things. Like, there's nothing that really makes it stand out good features everything's good but nothing's like great you know uh so that, that's just kind of where i was on this one i'm gonna come back to it i'm gonna come back to this one a decent bit but there's nothing saying like there's nothing for me that's like oh i gotta hear this album again and again and again kind of like how i've been doing with kb's his glory alone where i've probably listened to that once or twice a day since it came out two weeks ago um i probably listened to it about 20 times by now regardless there's nothing like that on this one but it is of a, a good album it is a good album and i'm feeling a very solid seven seven point five out of ten you know um that that's the only uh, albums that came out this week outside of the ones that i've already got reviews for um if there's anything else y'all wanted me to check out make sure to let me know in the comment section again i'll probably be back tomorrow reviewing um one of my boys albums that hit me up uh, again it's one that i it, it's an artist that i reviewed a couple months ago um I can already tell you it's really good, but you'll hear a lot more about that tomorrow. Um, make sure to hit the like button, comment, sub, hit the bell for notifications. I appreciate y'all watching, and I'll see y'all tomorrow.